The Hot Tour girl is reportedly close to signing a deal for her own reality show about her life. She had recently quit her job and is working on a podcast. Man, she's a true role model for society. True role model for society. She deserves all the blessings that she's currently receiving. Um, she rejected a deal with Playboy. And this is crazy. So she, she, she wants to make it out on her own. And she's doing it. She's turning down big companies like Playboy. Who just want to make her uh, probably a... Look, it's not about her. Okay, it's about her message and her purpose. All right, the example the example that she sets for us in society is something I can't even describe in words. Okay, we have to follow it true to our hearts. <sighs> oh man. Uh we go from sad to happy to six businesses broken into within 30 minutes overnight in Florida, and, and they're like all, it looks like they're all food businesses. From both of these stores, a Qdoba manager telling me nothing was taken from that business. The edible arrangement <laughs> owner saying some cash and were Qdoba, edible arrangements, what else? Subway and Papa John's. They must have been hungry. They must have had that. <laughs> Why? Because I know you can't steal any money from them. I mean, they're big, big chains. They have safes where they deposit the money. I would be surprised if they even walked away with any kind of money. <laughs> oh, wait. It, is, it does say some cash and merchandise were stolen from edible arrangements. They're a small store. Usually, if you're a bigger store, you have to deposit all the money in the... Unless it's like $50 or something in the drawer. But yeah, they definitely did not come up this. This is the dumbest criminal in history here.